Hi, I'm Chris from Georgia Pacific. Welcome to the Green Bay Broadway Mill. We're here to talk about science and the process of making paper, specifically recycling waste paper and turning it into towel and tissue products. Our recycling process starts with paper that comes from the, the material that you recycle at your curb every week, as well as from post-industrial sources such as printers. We receive approximately 60 to 65 semi-truckloads of waste paper every day. It's baled and has been processed by a sorting facility prior to arriving at our facility. The waste paper is fed into a pulper, which is basically like a big blender. We add water to the paper and mix it up. The pulper separates out the large material from the fiber that we want to send forward. Large things like aluminum cans and plastic bottles. The accepted stock goes forward to a cleaning system. The cleaning system's purpose is to further clean the stock removing heavy materials like staples and paper clips. We, we accomplish that through density cleaners using centrifugal force to separate material that's heavier than water. We also screen out the material for larger objects like styrofoam and small plastics that made it through the pulping process. We separate that from the fiber as well. Then we wash it to remove coatings and fillers that come in on the printing and writing grades of waste paper. And finally, we do some de-inking process where we remove the inks that have been applied to the waste paper. That process washes the, the ash out of the paper and turns into paper machine sludge. We use the sludge for a variety of different outlets. We burn it on site and that turns into process steam for us that flows back into the paper making process. The ash from that boiler is used in the cement industry. And lastly, the, the remaining sludge is used in the fertilizer process as the inert carrier for, for lawn fertilizer. After all that is done, we pump the stock to a big storage tank where it waits its turn to be made into paper. Did you know that for every 100 tons of waste paper that we bring into the facility, we only produce approximately 60 tons of finished product? Here's a diagram of the paper machine. The pulp comes in to the paper machine basically uh, in a very watery mixture, 99.5% water. It gets sprayed on, onto a fabric. The fabric makes its way throughout the paper machine and all along the process uh, we're getting rid of water. So by pressure, by suction, by heat, uh, we're trying to uh, really get rid of that water so it becomes paper. When it works its way through to here, this is called the Yankee dryer. It's a huge 200 ton cast iron pressure vessel. It has steam inside it. And so basically that is drying it and it's also pressing uh, the paper sheet. Then above it, it's called the hood. And we're uh, blowing hot air on top of the sheet as well. And at the end, it gets peeled off of the uh, Yankee dryer by what we call a doctor blade, basically a long strip of metal that also puts crepe into that paper as it comes off the paper machine. In other words, it breaks some of the fibers, lofts it up a little bit, and makes it a little bit more fluffy. The whole process takes about a second and a half. From the paper machine, those parent rolls that come off the winder there come up to our rewinder, and our rewinder is creating the logs. And through that, there's several different sections, and one of the most important sections in a rewinder is the embossing section and the embossing section is made up of a steel engraved roll which has the specific patterns that you'll see on the individual sheets of paper towel that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. From there you'll see that uh, paper come through our cutting section and that, and that transfers onto our cores and creates our logs and those 136 inch logs travel through our tail sealer, which applies a bead of glue across the entire length of that log. And then that whole log transitions through our accumulator, which goes through our saw and cuts that 136 inch log into individual rolls of paper towel. And that ends up traveling through our wrappers, which is wrapped into a poly wrap and sent through our case packer. Once the paper towel has been packed into a case, it's palletized, stretch wrapped, and loaded onto a semi-trailer using a laser guided vehicle. Literally loaded onto the same semi-trailer that the waste paper arrived in a day before. Can you think of another waste product that could be recycled into a new product?